Hi everyone, myself is Suresh, uh, working as a software testing trainer. Okay. Right. So today we will discuss about what exactly mean by software testing and how we need to be get take with this career in software testing. Yeah. First we will understand about a very basic understanding what is mean by testing here. Right. So in general everyone they will be having their own definitions as part of uh, testing here. The simple understanding we can mention that testing an application based on client requirements. That means it is not like any huge things they will be doing in the testing part. As part of the tester first you need to be get understand that client requirements right according to the client requirements what kind of functionalities need to be get tested based on that particular client requirements you need to be test with the application it may be web based applications it may be windows based applications it may be mobile applications or it may be banking applications it may be insurance applications manufacturing applications the whole part which is related to the software. We are not doing any hardware testing here. We are part of software testing. Here. So, whenever we have to do the software testing, first we need to be get understand about client requirements. Based on that particular client requirements, we need to be test with the application here. Okay. So, now whenever we are taking with the software testing, so most of the people will be having any some doubt or like little small confusion how we need to be get started a career in the software testing. So for that to understand with the information how exactly we can get started with the career in software testing. For that the people will be having a confusion like who has been completed with the BTEC or BTEC in computer science branch only that particular people need to become into the IT industry. Okay. So, we do not have that kind of any specific condition or we do not have any specific rule in saying that only computer science background will be eligible to the IT industry, other group people will not be eligible to take with the IT industry. There is no concept of like that. To do the testing, we do not have any pre request. Okay. We are not having any pre request in getting doing with the testing course or to get started with the career in the testing. The very first skill we need to be have to get started with the testing mentioning about communication skill. But this communication also it is not like you need to be have when a huge expertise. The very normal communication is enough to get started with the testing course and then to get started your career in the testing. So, do not get assume like you have been required with the huge, communica huge communication skills and you need to be become an expertise in the communication skill. The people who is having a very normal communication skill, then you can think about to take with the step into the IT industry by having with the testing training codes. That is the first eligibility which we can mention in that a basic communication skills here. And the second one mentioning about logical skill here because as part of tester you are not doing any technical things. You are testing an application based on that particular client requirement. So, when you are testing an application you have to be think in a positive manner, you have to be think in a negative scenarios, you have to be test positive scenarios, you have to be test in a negative scenarios here. That means your way of thinking you need to be taken in a different manner. So, you have to be thinking a little bit logic to get identify more number of defects in that application. Because as a tester if you are identifying with the more defects indirectly you are getting improving with the quality of that particular product. If it is previous IT industry or the clients they are not like more interested into the quality. But nowadays the market has been giving more importance for the quality here. So, that is how we got in a huge market for the testing part here. 
So as a tester, we need to be try in a thinking different manner to get identify more number of defects here. So that we will be mentioning about thinking in a logical ways and then we have to be think about positive ways, positive scenarios and we can mention about negative scenarios here. And the very most important thing, if you want to be coming to the IT industry, the first you need to be have that passion, like I want to be become a software test engineer or you have to be get an entry into the IT industry. There is no concept of like you are done with the B.Tech computer science or B.Tech mechanical or B.Tech civil background. Any kind of B.Tech people are eligible to get started with the testing course here. And it's not like only B.Tech people here. Anyone who is having a basic computer knowledge, those people will be getting eligible to get started with the testing course. It may be normal degree or it may be MBAs or it may be B.Tech or it may be MSc Computer Science or B.Sc Computer Science. Anyone who had a more passion, first you need to be having a passion like yes, I want to be become a software test engineer or I want to be get started with the career in software testing. Then you can get taken a step ahead to do with the testing course and then getting into the IT industry here. In coming to the academic background, as we are already mentioning that it's not like you required with the huge percentages like 80% or 90% also. Nowadays, we got in a lot of MNC companies also putting into the percentage cut of like minimum like 60% here. It's not like you need to be have 80% or 90% or anything. The first we are clearly mentioning that the first you need to be having a passion like I want to become into the IT industry. The people who had in a passion like I want to be take with the step coming into the IT industry. For them, it will be the very easy to get for doing with the software testing course. Because this course is clearly mentioning about software testing. That means... You have to be thinking in different ways how we can test with the application. A very simple understanding I can give. As part of developer, always we will be thinking about how to build a system. But as part of tester, we need to be think about how to break the system here. Because when you're thinking about breaking the system, you can come up with the different ideas. By that, there is a possibility to get identified with the more number of defects here. If you are identifying more number of defects, indirectly we are trying to get improve the quality because once you are identifying defect, that particular defects need to be fixed by the developer. Developer will be fixing that particular defect and it will be retested that particular defect. Once you have been retested, it will be closing that particular defect. By that step by step, you are identifying more number of defects and then developer will be fixing that particular defect and then the quality of the product will be getting improving it here. Okay. So, the guys don't get understand about like if you want to be coming to the IT industry, we need to be have more communication skills, we need to be have huge percentages and lot of things need to be done or multiple courses you have to be done. We can see that we required communication skills also. We cannot say that like without having any communication skills, we cannot come into the IT. The very first understanding is it's not like use communication skills, not like use expertise. A very normal people having the basic communication skills will be eligible to get started with the software testing course here. Okay. The whole outcome, what I can say is the people who have the interested and then uh, very much passion to get started the career in the software industry, you can come ahead and then take with the testing course and then you can take into the step into the IT industry here. And why specifically software testing course only? You will be having in a doubt like in a IT market, we have in a lot of courses are there. What make the specific reason we need to be take with the only software testing as a career here? Let me give an information on that. So, I cannot say that like only software testing is only one course to come into the IT industry. There are a lot of courses are there. 
But when you compare all these particular courses, why we need to be get learn with the software testing here, right? The very first thing I can say that software testing is about finding any defects in other work here. Because in general, as a human being, most of the time, the very common habit we used to be have is always we guys are interested in getting identifying the problem of other people rather than looking into the problem of ours. So that becoming an advantage now because when you take with the testing, the development by done by another people and testing will be done by the another people because the same person is not doing the development activity, testing activity. So development is done by other person and testing will be done by the other person. That means like testing job will be more interesting where we are identifying the issues which has been the product developed by another people. So that we can say that it will be more interesting job in getting identifying with the defects here. And for the current industry, we can say that we got in a lot of demand. Like if we look into the market of before 5 to 8 years, we can say that we have a little bit less market only. But last from 5 years, we got in a huge growth for the testing market here. And apart from that, it will be a challenging job here. Because when you take developer, always we need to be do with the coding. That is also we can say the challenging sometimes in writing the different type of codes. But when you take the testing, initially we can identify more number of the defects. Step by step, that particular defects will be fixing by developer. So once developer has been fixed as a tester, it will fix that particular defect. Then there is a possibility the defect ratio will be getting reducing it. So when defect ratio is reducing it, as a tester, we need to be thinking in a different manner. We need to be think about different logic, different ways where we can identify more defects in that application. So that we can say that it's in a challenging job here. And nowadays, we used to be having a very good pay when you compare with the developers. When you more command in automation testing, so manual testing, automation testing, both will be there. If the person having with the more command in automation testing, I can say you that we are having with the good pay for the automation testers here. But it's not like directly can go into the automation testing. First manual testing you have to be comfortable, then you need to be get started working on the automation testing. Then it will become in a very easy to get started your career growth to take with the testing part here. So first you have to be learn manual testing, then automation testing. The people who got more expertise in automation testing, I can see you that we got in a more pace of testing here. And relatively, when you compare to any other courses, I can see you that uh, software testing will be the very easiest course when you compare with other courses here. And it's a very easy to get understand. The concepts will be the very limited concepts. You will be having it. A very normal person also can easily learn with the testing here. Okay. So the final part, what I'm trying to say is the people who are interested and getting started their career in the IT industry and um, we are welcoming with the software testing course because this particular testing course will be the very easy which can easily understand on it and then you can get started your careers in the software testing and in the next session I will be discussing about how testing career path will be going on because I am hearing that multiple times the people will be asking me any question sir if i start with the testing course or if i start my testing career after two years or after three years the i cannot go ahead as part of testing again i have to be learn with the new things here okay it's not like again you have to be take with the new course after three years or four years until unless you're getting retired you can continue on testing platform only but you have to be improve your testing skills, you have to be get updated. In the next session, I will discuss in a very detail like what are all the different career levels will be there as part of the tester here. Okay. Thank you guys. Good luck everyone. Thank you.